kindness of my own heart. It's just because my channel is worth way more than any of these animations that I'm reacting to. That's all it is. But yeah, let me go back to that. It said, we could have issued a copy strike against all the videos and that would have caused a huge damage to his channel and possibly it would have been deleted. It would have been deleted. If I didn't delete the videos by July 1st, my channel would have been deleted. But we decided to be the good guys and not do that, okay? We watched almost all the videos and never heard him one time mentioning our channel name. He just added our channel name in the description, not even in the title. Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Reacting to these True Story Animations. I have two videos that we are gonna check out in today's episode. If you guys cool with that, you down with that? He just added our channel name in the description, not even in the title in the first place. Why was it that hard for him to mention our channel name? Why was it hard for him to respond to our emails? I know you love him and respect him, but he is not innocent. It would have taken him five seconds just to say our channel name, but he decided not to do it. He wanted all the views to himself. We checked back to the times he made the videos, and we never saw any uptick in our analytics to indicate that he was referring viewers to us. So the argument that he was making us famous is false. I don't know who told you guys that. I never said that I made you famous. But I mean, whatever you want to say. We have over 100 full time employees working on these videos. God damn, 100 full time employees? We have over 100 full time employees working on these videos to deliver the highest quality animations on YouTube. And it's costing us a huge amount of money and time to produce these videos. And he was stealing them like he is entitled to it. That is not true. I was not stealing them. Why are you just talking about me like I invented reacting to things? Like, they act like I'm the only person in the world that's ever reacted to stuff. But I feel like they just want to use me as the example for one reason or another. We got nothing from that deal that we did not even agree to be in. Take a look at Bijou Mike. He also reacts to our videos. But from the first video, he asked permission to react. And he also makes sure... And he also makes sure to... Where the hell am I? He also makes sure to give us a shout out every time he reacts to our videos. Imagine you are working for months on an animated video and this YouTuber comes and puts all the animated videos on his channel without even one small shout out to you. How would you feel about that? Even if he puts your channel link in the description. Who even reads descriptions? Okay, you know what? Leave a comment down below if you guys heard about their channel through me because I actually saw a lot of comments in this comment section. I'm gonna scroll down and highlight some of the comments that said that I gave them credit. They found out about their channel through me. It's not like I'm just trying to like hog all the attention from your stuff. But yeah, they said who even reads descriptions? So if I gave you guys credit and then left you no link in the description, but I said it verbally, and then people had to go out of their way to type in the animation channel through YouTube, would that have been better for you? Like not leaving a link in the description because nobody checks it apparently. You said who even reads descriptions? If I just said out loud, hey, my story animated channel, check them out, but then left no link. That would have been more beneficial than actually leaving the link to the channel and saying that I'm leaving a link to their channel in the description box below. We are also not a small YouTube channel and we don't need his exposure for people to watch us. He was not doing a favor for us. He earned lots of money from the videos that we made and we got zero benefit from. It's also possible that we lost from his reactions because a person who watches his videos don't have to watch our video. We're the owners of the videos and we hold the right to deny anyone from using our videos, just like any other animated show in the world. You know what, I'm not even gonna go through the comments of this video, but I just wanna say that you guys go hard for me. Like, you guys go all out for me because I see so many comments supporting me and letting them know ah! that I always gave credit. I'm glad that you guys remember that because I always did and I always do. If I got a video game suggestion from another YouTuber or I found it from somewhere, I would always say where I got it from and it's no different from these animation channels. I would say, oh, this animation comes from blah, blah, blah. Welcome back to another episode of Share My Story videos. All right, guys, but that's gonna do it for this episode of reacting to more of these Share My Story animations. First video of today's episode is called True Our Home Alone Story. It's from Juan C Entertainment. First video comes from a channel called Mort. I will put the link to their channel in the description Ooh. box below. Who we have right now is Llama Arts. And if you guys want to check out their channel, I will leave the link to all their videos in the description box below. First animation comes from the channel Stephen D. I will leave the link to their channel in the description box below. Next animation comes from my guy Mort. Link to his channel will be in the description box below. But yeah, shout out to Storytime Animated. Go check out their channel, guys. I wouldn't say it every single time because I started reacting to their stuff so much. Much. And plus they watermarked their video. So I was like, you know what? They see the channel name on the video. It's like right in the corner of the video. So if they wanted to see it, I know that they would find it because I always let the link to you guys' channel in the description box. If people want to find something, they're going to find it. 
Like that's how the internet works. Like if we want to get to something, we're gonna figure out a way to do it. If they loved your animation so much, they would have found a way to find out what your channel name is and they would have went to it, which people did. People did say in this comment section, I'll leave a link to this whole post in the description box below. They did say that they found the channel through me and I really do appreciate people having my back. After this video, guys, I'm letting this whole thing go. I don't wanna talk about this channel anymore. I don't wanna have anything to do with this channel. If they really don't want me to react to their stuff, but they're cool with other people reacting to their stuff, then that's cool. They can pick and choose who they want to react to their stuff. I just don't appreciate the way it was said to me. Specifically, the email that I got that I'm not gonna show you guys because that's private, I guess. So I'm not gonna show you guys what the email said, but the way that I was spoken to in that email was extremely unprofessional, it was extremely rude. And if this channel wants to talk about like someone being above somebody, it's not me, especially from that email. Trust me, I'm not the one who was acting like I'm above somebody else. Sorry that I'm making another video like this. Um, I really hate making stuff like this, but I just wanted to stand up for myself and let it be known that I'm just not gonna let anybody talk about me any way they want and not expect me to respond. So, um, hopefully you guys have a good weekend because by the time you guys are seeing this, it's gonna be July 3rd. So, yeah, I really don't know how to end this video. Bye. <laughs> Well, I shall await your return. <laughs> <laughs>